And speaking of beating the heat, as many of us make plans for the weekend, plan on the heat and humidity hanging around. Our Melissa Lefevre has a look at why the combination of the two can be dangerous. Well, summer is synonymous with heat and humidity, and chances are you've probably heard the CBS 17 storm team mention the heat index. We've all come to expect it and deal with it, but when you combine heat and humidity, things can get dangerous quickly. So what is the heat index? Well, it's the apparent temperature, or essentially the feels-like temperature to your body. First, let me give you a little science. Now, our bodies cool down by perspiring. The evaporation of our sweat helps cool us down and regulate our temperature. If our sweat can can't evaporate, the body can't regulate its temperature. When it's humid, there's less evaporation that occurs, and that means the body has a harder time cooling itself down. So your body feels warmer when it's more humid. Take a look at this chart. This is from the National Weather Service. Again, we look at temperature and relative humidity. That's going to give us that feels like temperature. It's important to note that these numbers, that's for shady locations. If you're out directly in the sun, heat index values can increase by up to 15 degrees. Now it's crucial to limit your time outside and stay hydrated when we're talking about that extreme heat and humidity. Here are a few signs again for heat exhaustion versus heat stroke. If you're faint or dizzy, you've got cool clammy skin, excessive heat or muscle cramps, want to cool off, drink water. On the flip side of that, if you have a headache, hot and dry skin, no sweating or even lose consciousness, that's when you need to call 911. Take the time now to be in the know so you and your family can safely enjoy the summer. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Melissa Lefevre.